Universal Pictures presents everything you always wanted to do in high school with everyone you always wanted to do it with. Hey, bud. Let's party. They're the students of Ridgemont High. Uh -huh. Brad Hamilton, the fast food king. I shall serve no fries for their time. It says 100% guaranteed, you moron. Mister, if you don't shut up, I'm going to kick 100% of your ass. Charles Jefferson. A man with a mission. Oh, gnarly! Linda Barrett, not exactly the girl next door. Awesome! Totally awesome! And Jeff surfs up Spicoli. People on lewds should not drive. My skull. I'm so wasted. See Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Besides, it's totally gnarly birth control. <laughs> I can't stand it. Okay, so he's awesome. <laughs> Valley girl. She's out there somewhere. This is the story of a boy from Hollywood who never dreamed the girl he'd want most was down here. I'll stop the world. Hello. Hello. Who invited you? Oh, wow, uh, you mean you have to be invited? Well, that explains it. What? Well, everyone is dressed for See, if I had been invited, I would have known this was a costume party. Right. <laughs> it's the story of a girl from the valley who never dreamed she'd ever be seen with a boy from over here. Looks like I'm not getting out of this car. All right, but when they attack the car, save the radio. So when can I see you again? I'm here with you now. I know. This is the story of Randy and Julie, the way they come together, and the people who try to pull them apart. Like, don't you think they have parties over there? Oh, where? At the zoo? This geek that she's with could scar her for life. God, life? If you think she's confused, you should see her father. I'm together now. Be right there. Julie's cool. Randy's hot. She's from the valley. He's not. Valley girl. Oh, bitch, and is this in 3D? No, but your face is. I'll stop the world and I'll do you. I'll stop the world. You've seen the difference and it's getting better. Rusty James. Biff Wilcox looking for you, Rusty James. I'm not hiding. He says he's gonna kill you, Rusty James. Man, me and you, we, we could have run this whole side of town if you just gave me a chance. You know, if you're gonna lead people, you have to have somewhere to go. 
I wonder why somebody hasn't taken a rifle and blown your head off. The motorcycle boy. You always try so hard to be like your brother, Rusty James. Hey, my brother's the coolest. Why do you dislike me so much? I mean, I've always tried to be your friend. You know, you might have made it a while on the motorcycle boy's rep, but you ain't got your brother's brains. Neither contrary to popular belief is your brother crazy. See my boyfriend or something? Excuse me? Oh! I get it! You want a picture for your wallet! You want some girl who's gonna send you flowers and poems? Don't you ever think about anything that I get up some girl's dress? Like what? Look, I got this under control, right? Can you promise? Stop saying I promise you! Why do you have to come here? That girl you saw last night, Nikki got her pregnant. <laughs> This is when you become such a saint, huh? Huh, Hop? The only difference between me and you is you've been lucky, that's all! In the last few weeks, being around you, I think about things. Like what sort of things? Coming back. Sean Penn. Elizabeth McGovern. Nicholas Cage. Wait with me! Wait for me, huh? Racing with the moon.
It was the age of jazz and gangsters and bootleg booze. The age of everything but innocence. Excuse me, I'm looking for Mr. Dutch Schultz. Do you know him? Sure. Everybody knows a Dutchman. A handful of mobs ruled the city. I got this girl coming. You keep her company, you make me look good. A handful of men ruled the mobs. His rackets are very appealing to me. New York was their kingdom. This was their playground. The Cotton Club. Richard Gere is Dixie Dwyer. Am I blue? He came here looking for fame. Am I blue? And on the way, he found love and violence. <laughs> Guns, knives, bombs. It's not my life, Dutch. I play music. I'm talking about you. Why not come inside? You don't belong to me. And if you won't mind me, you gotta come to my house at 12. You know, Dutch just move fast in Harlem. You can't see a murder. Go home, wake up in the morning, have tea and toast with a psychopath. Go. You can't do that, can you? Yes. Ill wind, go away. All I want to do is take you away from all this. But let's get married now. No chance. I want to make it. I mean, really make it. Skies are oh so gray. I know all about you the way you play your coronet. <laughs> I know about you, too. Like what you look like when you make love. If he came in here right now, he'd kill us. Crazy rhythm, I've gone crazy, too. Now they're getting to be a problem. <laughs> you. Let's go. I want to ask you one more time. Want to come along? What were you doing backstage with him? I was kissing him. And I will again if I get the chance. Or you'll never get it! Don't touch her. Don't you ever, on? ever touch her like that again! The Cotton Club. Where deals were made, lives were traded, and the legends of jazz lit up the night. I'm gonna kill him with my tap shoes. Now, master filmmaker Francis Coppola invites you... I take them all on! ...to the Cotton Club. Will we live happily ever after? This ain't real life. What is it? Jazz. It's an invitation you can't refuse. I can save you. Try me. determined to become the fastest man on water. You don't know how good you are, do you? Sure I do. But first, he's got to reform himself. <laughs> Refine himself. This is making me sick wearing these monkey suits. Control himself. Prove himself. Get up! Harvard man! There's 
a world of bloody difference between Rowan to escape the police and Rowan like a champion in competition. They couldn't break his records. You'll never win another bloody race. Or his pride. Mr. Hanlon, you wouldn't recognize Wynn's sophistication if it hit you in the face. Five. Because he's trained too long. You still haven't seen what he can do when he really puts his mind to it. Pushed too hard. I want to win fair square, not at all. And risked too much. We bet twenty thousand dollars. He's an investment that's going sour. To settle for anything less than being the best there is. You think you can beat him? I know I can. Nicholas Cage is the boy in blue. The true story of a legend who left history in his wake. Peggy Sue was once crazy about the guy she married. I have certain unresolved feelings about your father. I don't trust him. But tonight, at her 25-year high school reunion... Well, Charlie won't be here tonight. We're getting divorced, actually. She'll disappear in time. And arrive in her senior year of high school. What am I doing here? You passed out for a minute, that's all. Oh, Mom. What is going on? You're home now. What do you think, Peggy Sue? <laughs> you bought an Edsel. <laughs> now, she's got the chance to start over again. I have a headache. This time, she'll know better. Should we break up? Because if we did, I don't even know about it. What if you fall into the hands of some madman with plans to manipulate your brain? Well, that's why I was getting a divorce. I'm a grown woman with a, with a lifetime of experiences you can't understand. Girls mature faster than guys. Digital, watches, and miniature television sets. Oh, and huge radios. I mean, for some reason, everything else gets tiny, but portable radios get enormous. Peggy Sue and Mr. Square Root. Mm, Let's make love. What? You mean sex? From Francis Coppola. Well, at least I got to see you and Grandma again. Kathleen Turner. Has this ever worked before? The last time was 600 years ago. Peggy Sue got married. I could be trapped here forever. Change your destiny. Marry me. Will you marry me? I don't want to marry anyone, Richard. Why not? Polygamy is legal in Utah. Nicholas Cage. I'm proposing to you now. I may be crazy, but I'm not crazy enough to marry you twice. Peggy Sue got married. Peggy Sue got married. The moon brings the woman to the man, capisci? The moon is a little like love. Will you marry me? I will marry you. I will be your wife. Do you love him, Loretta? No. Good. When you love him, they drive you crazy. Sometimes. Why are you marrying Johnny? He's a fool. It makes you act a little crazy. Where are you taking me? To the bed. Oh, God. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. Take me. Take me to the bed. Isn't it romantic? You got a love bite on your neck. Your life's going down the toilet. You'll have your eyes open for you, my friend. I have my eyes open. I'll say no more. You haven't said anything. Ah, que bella luna. You ruined my life. That's impossible. You ruined my life. Look, it's Cosmo's moon. Why do men chase women? Nerves. I don't want to talk about it. That moon. That crazy moon. Now you talk. I love you. What? Snap out of it. I'm confused. They say there's nothing new under the sun. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <clears throat> but under the moon, that's another story. Do you love him, Loretta? Ma, I love him awful. Oh, God, that's too bad. Cher. Nicholas Cage in a Norman Jewison film. A la familia, eh? A la familia. Moonstruck. Ah! 
Son, you got a panty on your head. Just drive fast, eh? Turn to the right! The first time I met Ed was in the county lockup in Tempe, Arizona. You're a flower, you are. A day I'll never forget. I do. You bet I do. Okay, then. My lawless years were behind me. Our child-rearing years lay ahead. But... <laughs> Biology conspired to keep us childless. You go right back up there and get me a toddler. I need a baby high. They got more than they can handle. But at the time, his little plan seemed like the solution to all our problems. And the answer to all our prayers. He's beautiful. What? Are you kidding? We got us a family here. I want Nathan Jr. back. What's his name? Ed Jr. Hi, Jr. So far, we've just been using Jr. We call him Jr. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. Hold on, Nathan. We're gonna go pick up Daddy. I've been taking these huggies and uh, whatever cash you got. <laughs> you busted out of jail. We released Krishaz on our own recognizance. What Double here is trying to say is that we felt the institution no longer had anything to offer us. <gasps> we got a child now! Everything's changed! Yeah! Where's Junior? <laughs> Who the hell are you? I'm a fan. We're absolutely going to get him back. This ain't no question about that. Give me that baby, you warthog from hell! <laughs> hey, you want to know another thing? I'm going to be a better person from here on out. Let's go get Nathan Jr. Raising Arizona, a comedy beyond belief. Well, it ain't Ozzy and Harriet. Heard about it from friends, read about it in magazines, and seen it in home movies. They're all from California. Now, Matt and Eddie are on the road, looking to find it in L.A. We're all right. And nothing in the world can stop them. Matt, look out! Well, almost nothing. Now, their worst nightmare... God, I think you killed somebody, Matt could become a dream come true. It's like the luckiest unlucky thing that's ever happened to us, man. She's tall, very tall. She's sexy, very sexy. And she's in the mood. I'm a lesbian. The wrong mood. Ah! We're stranded in the middle of absolutely nowhere with the most beautiful woman we've ever seen, and she's a lesbian. Story of my life in a nutshell. But Matt and Eddie refuse to let reality interfere with their fantasies of passion. Man, if I was out here alone, we'd be doing it right now. Romance. Eddie, I, I think she's really gay. Sensuality. Oh, man, I, th I think she's just bi. And gastronomical lust. What is this? The damn breakfast club? It's a dream that just might come true in Never on Tuesday. With special visits by... A misplaced salesman. I wish I could take you along, but I don't have a license. A desert wanderer. Is anybody hurt? A very bad dude. You guys are stuck out here all night with her? A weird cop. You guys been out here all night? Just you and her? And a real curious tow truck driver. You, you three been out here all night? No, man, you don't understand. It wasn't anything like... In Never on Tuesday. How was your weekend? It's all right, you know. There's nothing earth shattering. He was an ordinary guy. <laughs> Morning, everyone. Good morning. Looking for an extraordinary love. I'm Peter Lev. Rachel. I brought this girl up to my place the other night. It started with a kiss. Really hot. A very special kiss. You wanted her very badly. Yeah. A kiss that could drive you mad. 
I hate interrupted love affairs, don't you? Yep, 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 yep. It's affecting his work. There you are! It's a horrible, horrible job. And you have to do it. It's ruining his appetite. My next appointment with you is uh, Tuesday afternoon. I'd like to make it sooner. It's spoiling his sleep. Sooner. And don't think people haven't noticed. Am I getting through to you, Alva? He is so eccentric. My, my. For Peter Lowe. Oh, sooner. That's just love. Love? Love. In the big city. Yeah! Don't laugh. I'm a professional. I don't laugh. I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! I'm a vampire! <laughs> Nicholas Cage. The tortures of the damned! Maria Conchita Alonso. Shoot it. Do it or I'll fire you. Do you understand? <laughs> Not the floor, Alva. And Jennifer Beals. You are so pathetic. <clears throat> Vampires kiss. Strange stuff. I'll never do that again. Jeez. 